All right, everybody. Finally back out doing a little trapping. Man, this feels good. It's been a couple weeks. I've had all the traps pulled, but I got like two weeks of season left to go on the beaver trapping. Uh, a farmer got a hold of me earlier in the year and he wanted me to trap some for him and uh, I just didn't have the time, but I just got a hold of him and talked to him. He said, yeah, get out there and get them. Uh, here's one of the dams. This is a big dam. And they, they're flooding this field over there and on both sides. I mean, I barely got out here, but this water is deep. I see a big ass caster mound right over there. So I'm, I'm gonna put two, two uh, drowners right here, right at this dam like I did the last place, cause it's deep. And uh, I'm gonna put a caster mound right next to that one. Put some of Dan Davis's uh, Alpha Delta beaver lure caster lure over there. We're gonna get them. I'm, I'm just gonna throw out a few traps right now, but you can see they got this water backed up. I was I was over on the other side of the road, and then I come down here and I finally found this dam. So I, I'm pretty sure they're in here. They're in this side of it. So we're gonna get them, get them out of here. So they quit flooding this field. But I'll bring you back when I. Uh, I mean, this water is stopped. I mean, there's not even a crossover. I mean, I think the crossover is right here. Here's something I don't know. What, it, what that is, some part of a water filtration for a pool or, or I don't even know what it is, but they got it built into the dam. And all these corn stalks and trees. There's not that many trees along here, but they, they used what they could to build this dam. And we're gonna, we're gonna put in some caster mounds and we're gonna come back tomorrow and I bet we're gonna have some big ass beavers in here. Okay, everybody. We got one caster mount in here on this side of the dam. It's hard to walk on here. See that big bridger number five right there. See the drowning rod going down there. I reinforced all these drowning locks because I lost that one trap. So put the caster mount right there with, the, with Dan Davis's Alpha Delta lure on it. I got it kind of staked off here a little bit so they got to force them across the trap. It's deep right here. I'm just walking across this dam, but uh, put one on the other side over here. If I can get back over here without falling in too bad. See that one right there? Put a couple sticks there. Number five there. You can see the stick with the lure on it. It's on top of the caster mound there. Um, out into deep water plenty deep to drown them so we'll see i'm gonna i'm gonna go up here a little bit further and try to place a couple more uh sets i think i see maybe partially uh a feed bed right there so i'm gonna put a couple more drowners here i'd like to do a dam dam break set here but i think i'm just gonna wait a few days and see what this does i'd rather catch them in in these in these caster mounds and a dam break but we'll see if i have to do a dam break set i will all right, trackers, there's a dam down there. We've got, like I said, two caster mounds, one on each side of that dam. I didn't do a dam break set yet, but if I have to, I will. Just put this other one here, right here. You see the five there. Caster mound here, Alpha Delta on it. I put some sticks in there to guide them up. There's an old caster mound right here. And then this this goes up into this field where they got it flooded. I. I stepped in the water here. It's pretty deep. I ain't so sure they ain't got a bank down here. Uh, I, I'm not getting in there. It's over my waders for sure. But I'll just keep putting these caster mounts right here. And, and the wind's blowing that way. So if they come up through here tonight, they're going to smell that de Alpha Delta and they're going to get caught. I'm probably going to put one or two more in down this way just a little bit and see what happens. Like I said, I think right there might be a feed bed. I see the sticks sticking up there. So... Um, stay tuned. We'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, everybody. First, first check for the beaver traps. Just set them yesterday. Get out here. I just got off work, so get out here for the first check. I come to the very first one. It was actually the last. It was actually the last one that I set yesterday, but the very first one to check on the way to down to the dam. I get up here. Cast your mounds destroyed. See the drowning rod there. Don't see the trap. I see some. I see a tail. I see uh, in a big, a big foot out there under down there in the deep water. So 
I'm gonna set you up and then I'm gonna pull him up out of there. Looks like a, looks like a pretty big beaver. We gotta tilt you back down. I can't wait to get down here and check these other traps because I'm thinking they might all be full. I'm not kidding you. It's a nice beaver. Bring it back when I get down to the next one. It's easy everybody be doing it. Alright everybody. I'm at the second trap. Caster mount's not messed with. But the trap is missing from the bed. I can't see nothing down there, but it's deep. I'm at the dam here. I just checked a trap down there. Nothing in that one was wasn't disturbed. The other caster mount on this side of the dam, I'll pull him up out of there in a little bit. I see there's a muskrat caught in it by both back feet. See him under the water. This one, the trap's missing. I don't see what's on it yet, but I want to feel weight. Feel some weight. Oh yeah. Another one. This one's a little smaller. Catch a little bit smaller than the first one, but whatever. If they want me to get them out of here, I'll get them all out of here. I just hate that I missed that one down there, but we'll see what happens tomorrow when we check them tomorrow. Sorry about the wind, I hope you can hear me all right. I'll get this guy out of here and then I'll show you the muskrat. got in there because could have caught a beaver in this trap every trap only one trap wasn't wasn't messed with so stay tuned we'll see what happens tomorrow Get here to the dam here, and uh, 
this trap is gone. I see the rod there. I can't see what's out there. I see that rod over there. Let me zoom in. It's up out of the water and the trap's down the rod, so I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna pull you up, pull this one up. Take you over to this one. Hopefully, we got a beaver on the end of this one. That is, I thought I had a double here at this dam. I was hoping. I see a beaver track right there. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. That's the one I thought was in here. That is the one. You betcha. I knew there was a big one in here. I bet this one is close to 70 pounds. <sighs> Got nipples, so I know it's got babies. Jeez, I can't even lift it. Look at that. That's huge. I knew there was a big one in here. Knew it. Finally, look at the tail on that thing. Awesome. Yes. Woo. So we got two adults and two juveniles so far. I got one more set down here. Look at that beaver. That is a huge beaver. I can't wait to wait. I can barely lift it. But yesterday after I checked the traps here, I mean, this is the main dam. Down there, I found a smaller dam. And when I was down that way further looking, I seen a smaller beaver um, swim over it. So I put, it was kind of had a crossover in the middle. It's, it's beat up. So we're gonna get down there and check that trap. Holy cow. That's amazing. I knew there, I kept telling everybody, I said, I know there's a big one in there. Nobody's trapped in here. Nobody has trapped here and they're not trap shy. That's the second miss I've had. I don't like that. I don't know why I had a miss, but that's that's worth it right there. I got that out of there for this farmer. Two adults and two juveniles. I, I still haven't taken that other one out of the trap yet. I kind of give him a little tap on the head. And he's probably drowned. I'll get back there and I'll show you what he looks like. But all right, let's get down here to this last trap. And check it. All right, everybody. Third check today. I didn't catch anything. I caught two each day before, so it is what it is. One was 50 pounds, one was 62, so a couple adults and a couple juveniles. But um, this is that dam break set that I told you I put. Or I, it's not a dam break. It was it was already looking like this. This dam was already screwed up. But I don't have any more of the number five, so I put one of my 650 coyote traps there, and then that hasn't hit for a couple days, so. Now I uh, I just put in that 330 over there because I think they were going around this and going through there, but I blocked that off. So either path they take now, we'll get them. I found another dam down here. I brought the ranger today because we got a little bit of rain and I was getting really, really muddy out there in that Jeep. I had to drag that big 62 pounder about 70 yards across that field. And I had a sled, but I was about wore out yesterday. So I'm gonna go down here and set one more uh that other dam that i seen i got one more 330 i do have one more number three bridger uh with one more drown rod so i might put a caster mound down here further but i'm not none of the traps were touched this morning or today this afternoon so i just want to end this video so i can get it out to you because man i'm excited this this beaver trap is way this is a lot of fun and uh thank you so much dan davis for sending me your alpha delta beaver caster lure it's 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 amazing so i'm gonna get down here and set this one hopefully we'll have something tomorrow hopefully we can get these beavers out of here i think there's still there's plenty of beavers left in here but we'll get them out um thank you so much for watching until the next one we'll see what happens but good luck with everything